are the only two engineers I've ever known, and I've interviewed a lot of engineers now over the years, I've been mean, doing this for a long time. Literally, the only two guys I know who, when you walk out, the audience knows who you are. <laughs> Mick, them, Mick way more than me. Mick's like, yeah. yeah. But, but I've seen you come off the front of the stage People and walk back, and am. there's 20 kids down front yelling your name. What's, why you two guys and nobody well, else? I can explain why it is. Go ahead, because I'll tell right. you why. Yeah. For, for the, the longest time, when I first started doing this, right, and I was out doing supports with other bands and whatever, and with Metallica, you know, right. all I ever witnessed was the guys mixing the main band that I was supporting be completely horrible to people who spoke to it. Rude. Rude and unnecessarily so. And I could never understand it because in my eyes they actually pay me in a roundabout yes. way. Mm -hmm. They pay me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they pay the fucking band. They go and they do their horrible jobs, not saying all of them have horrible jobs, but a lot of them probably do. Yeah. They go and work really fucking hard, doing eight hours a day, far more hours than we normally do, you know, work, actual work a day. <laughs> I used to do reggae bands, yeah. haircut 100, pop bands. Um, I, did, oh, I, did, I did all the punk years, GBH exploited right. I did come from punk, sort of, but that was only because I had a, a lighting company that used to hire lights to them and that I used to tack myself on as a sound engineer because I really wanted to do sound but I couldn't afford a PA so I had lights because park hands were far cheaper you know and I sort of caught on with the punk posse and they become my friends and then I become like a punk engineer which obviously helped me when I went with Metallica because they loved the punk ones. Right. but uh, no I didn't come I, I needed to understand more what I mean, there's people out there who are passionate about the, Absolutely. the, the genres of music. And I, I'm not going to say I'm a fake, because I'm not passionate about it. I'm passionate about audio. Right. And the way it sounds, and the enjoyment that they... Oh, there you go. That they get the enjoyment that they get from the show, right. that they pay. I'm more passionate about that than actual heavy metal. You know, I'm sure if I'd have worked for some... I don't know, Bruce Hornsby or whatever in the range, if they, you know, had done this, have, it would have been a similar thing, but it would have been in a different vein, like your vein, you know? No, it, I think it's a, you, for me, it's, there, there is mutual respect, and just like what, what Mick said, and I gotta give Mick props here, because, you know, I mean, listen, Mick was mixing huge bands when I was the kid, right? The, with the opening, you know, uh, act at 3 p.m. in the afternoon or whatever, yeah. and I would see Mick treat people with respect, and it, it's something that that I learned uh, that's ingrained in me as well. But it, it's also I said, hey, man, the the headliner guy is sitting there talking with a fan, and like he's cool with them, and you know, I mean.